happy morning children today we will learn the next lesson of grammar of class 1 lesson number 13 the sentence do we speak to someone in words no we speak to them in sentence isn't it so many words put together and which gives a meaning or makes a sense is called a sentence many words put together and which gives you a meaning or sense is called a sentence so we when we speak to someone we add many words together and we speak in a sentence so in this class we are going to learn about sentence so please look at the board sentence is a set of words that is complete that means when you write a sentence it makes you understand the meaning then the sentence makes sense means when you are telling a sentence to someone that sentence will make the other person understand what you mean by that did you understand now for example i will tell you what am i doing now i am standing if i tell you standing i am will you understand what i am saying you will not be able to understand what i am saying so we arrange these words in order for us to understand what i am saying i am standing who is standing me so i am standing so we begin a sentence always in capital letter we have le learned capital letters and small letters isn't it so always a sentence begins with a capital letter and always a sentence ends or does it go on no there is an end for a sentence at the end of the sentence we put full stop question mark or exclamation mark if it is a simple sentence we just put a full stop if i am asking a question how old are you so you should give me the answer isn't it so it is a question that i am asking you for you to tell the answer so if it is a question you put a question mark and if it is something surprising we put exclamation mark oh what a lovely weather so we put an exclamation mark for that so let us look at the board a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop question mark or exclamation mark so let us try understanding it more through examples now look at the board b a g bag this is one word my another word red another word is so there are four words written on the board now back my red is does it give you any sense or meaning you don't understand what i am saying isn't it but if we arrange this in an order it will make sense so always a sentence begins with capital letter so from this sentence itself you understood that this will be the beginning so my my red is bag does it make any sense no my bag what is the color of your bag my bag is which color red my bag is red so this now if i say my bag is red it gives you a meaning that means 
I have a bag and my bag's color is red. My bag is red. Now, this sentence is getting over. So, what do you put at the end? We put a full stop. This is full stop. So, you begin with a capital letter and you end with a full stop. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Next one. Where are you going? This is arranged in the correct order, but there is something that is missing. Can you tell me? Here I have started with capital letter. Where are you going? Now, if I am asking you, where are you going? You have to tell me an answer, isn't it? So, this is a sentence or a, this is a question or a sentence. This is a question because you have to give me the answer. Where are you going? So, I will say, you begin a sentence with capital letter. I am going to the I am going to the market. So, I am going to the market. Is it a question? No, this you are answering to this question. So, what will come at the end? Full stop. What will come? Full stop. So, for a question, you will put a question mark. And for an answer, you will put full stop. And you begin with capital letter. Did you understand? A sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark or full stop. Then next is exclamation mark. You might not be familiar with exclamation mark. X -cl -me Shin. Exclamation mark. This is called exclamation mark. This is called exclamation mark. Is it clear? This is a question mark. This is a full stop. And this is exclamation mark. Now let us look at the examples given on the board. Now, by looking at this, can you tell me, is it proper? Is it correct? It is not correct. Shall we make it correct? Okay, let us try now. So, a sentence always begins with a capital letter. How is it beginning here? With a small letter. So, this has to become capital letter. So, I like... To eat mangoes. Do you like to eat mangoes? I love to eat mangoes. Do you? So, I have written here, I like to eat mangoes. Now, if it has to become a proper sentence, what do we have to put at the end? We have to put a full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. Since this is an answer, we have to put what? A full stop. We put a full stop. Now let us look at the next one. Ganit has a pet turtle. So, who has a pet turtle? Ganit. So, it's a name. So, names, special names or names always begins with capital letter. And apart from that, since this is beginning of a sentence, we start with capital letter. So, this has to become capital letter. Ganit has a pet turtle. Now, what will come at the end? Exclamation mark? Is it a surprise? No. So, what will come? Is it a question? 
No. So what is it? It is an answer. So what do you put at the end? A full stop. Is it clear? Now here I have not given the sentence in the proper order. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't give you any meaning. So first we have to make it a meaningful sentence. Okay. So is pet Molly my cat? I cannot understand anything. Can you? I can understand there is a cat and the cat's name is Molly and it is a pet. Only that much I can. But here they have given you a clue. What is starting with capital letter here? Molly. Isn't it? So this is a name. Name of a person is always in capital letter. So, and here this beginning of a sentence is also a capital letter. Now, what does Molly have? A pet cat, isn't it? So, the name of the cat is what? Molly, isn't it? So, Molly is whose? My what? Molly is my what? Pet. What pet? Dog. Cow. What is given here? Cat. So, the name of my pet cat is? Molly. Molly is my pet cat. Now here it is correct because since Molly is a name they have given it capital letter and always a sentence begins with capital letter. Now what is this? Is it a question or an answer? It's an answer. So at the end what will come? Question mark? No. Only for questions question mark will come. For an answer what will come? A full stop. Now next one. Flower is garden full of the. So from this we can understand there is a garden and there are flowers in the garden. Garden is there, flowers is there, full of. Isn't it? One by word when we see the flower, where does the flower come? In the garden. Isn't it? So we have to arrange this sentence first. How will you write? Flower is garden full of the. How will you write the answer? You begin with, a sentence always begins with capital letter. So, what is full of flowers? The garden. The garden. The garden is Having what? Full of? The garden is full of? What? Garden is full of? Flowers. The garden is full of? Flowers. The garden is full of? Flowers. Flowers is garden full of the? The garden is full of? Flowers and since it is an answer, what will you put here? A full stop. So, once again, let, once again, let us revise. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words put together which makes sense or meaning. Then, there are two rules. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and it ends with a Full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. But for you, the, what you have to learn in this lesson is you begin with a capital letter and you end with a full stop and to arrange a sentence. This is what you are learning in this lesson. So, in this lesson, page number 43, the sentence, there are some exercises given here. Rohit saw a rabbit. 
See, R is capital letter when you begin and you end with a full stop. I like to eat mangoes. I already explained to you that. I see a rainbow in the sky. So, I has to be capital letter. And after sky, what will come? Full stop. The bear loves honey. So, you begin with capital letter. So, T has to be capital letter. And after honey, what has to come? Full stop. The fifth one I have done. Ganit has a pet turtle. Next one. Write the words in the correct order to make sentences. One has been done for you. The sky shines in the sun. The sun shines in the sky. Second one I have done on the board. Third one I have done on the board. Fourth one. Blue cap has Jack a. Who has a blue cap? Jack. Jack has a blue cap. Jack, J will be capital letter. It's a name and it's a beginning of the sentence and you will end with a full stop. Sweets, the little likes to boy eat. Who likes to eat sweets? The little boy. The little boy likes to eat sweets. So, the has to become capital letter T. Then you end with a full stop. Once again, the little boy likes to eat sweets. So, try doing that exercise in your textbook, page number 43 and 44. Did you understand what a sentence is? A sentence is a group of words when put together makes sense. A sentence begins with capital letter and ends with full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. See you in next class.